Saturday, I took a ride in a time machine. Hey, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Friday night, I really didn't have any plans for what I was going to do Saturday, so I decided at the last moment that I was going to go on a ride up to McLeod Farms in McBee, South Carolina. Now, I've never heard of McBee, South Carolina, but it was a chance to get out and ride. Now, I know from experience that when I bow out of these things, I usually end up kicking myself later for not going someplace. Unfortunately, I had loaned out my GoPro to somebody at work, so I didn't get any road shots. And quite honestly, when I left, I had told them that I'm just riding this ride because I want to ride. I just want to get out and see some countryside. My plan isn't to video, my plan isn't to take photos, none of that stuff. They knew better and I guess I did too. But it was a beautiful ride and I would highly recommend it. I really didn't have a whole lot of interest in farms. I mean, I think farms are cool, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I decided Friday night that I was gonna ride up with them. I figure, so 130 miles from home. I know it's going to be back roads, so 260 miles or so of some back roads riding. That's the kind of thing I like. So Saturday morning, got on the bike, no camera. We arrived after riding some great roads, and they said, we're going to leave out of here at 1.30. And I looked around at the farm, and I said, I hope there's something to do here besides look at the farm. But they had a free farm museum there. I had no idea what I was getting into.
So as I walked around this time capsule in the middle of nowhere, I got the sense that this history felt a little sacred, perhaps even a little hypnotic. And it was easy to forget that just outside those doors, modern life zoomed by, like it has. A gentleman sat in the middle of it all, greeting people, and answering questions, and most surely keeping an eye on the treasures in his realm. As I walked around, I started to feel a little guilty about how I felt about all this stuff. And I joked with him and said, I know it's just stuff, but should I be taking my shoes off or something? As though I was walking on holy ground of some sort. But it's more than just stuff. The wonder here is in the intangible, the stuff that can't be seen. It's in the memories in the back of my mind. It's in the used to be that permeates the room like a heavy fog. I looked at the row of typewriters and I thought, those were our computers. And I looked a little bit to the right and there was a bookshelf there with the world book on it, A to Z, and a couple of yearbooks after that. And I thought, oh look, there's our internet. There were memories kept here like a national treasure. And more than once I reminded myself that there were people coming through there that were older than I am. And I'm sure they looked at that stuff and thought, oh yeah, I remember that. Or I remember those. The place was really a gift. And I hear, although I didn't have any, I hear the peach cobbler with ice cream sets the bar. So I would definitely recommend the trip. I think you'll really dig it there. It's free to get in. And the countryside on the way there is absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm glad I could take you with me. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I want to put on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody being here and I will see you next time. Thanks.